1161. And good morning, Dick Rochford here aboard 992 Sierra Tango, a Piper M600. And as you see, we're looking at a picture, not the panel. And the reason is, is I've had some suggestions from my viewers that uh, maybe I should be showing some uh, pre-flight planning information on how I decided uh, uh, to go the route, how we decided how to go the route, and what information we're using. We're, we're really just right now direct from Cincinnati, Lincoln to Tango 82, Fredericksburg, Texas. That's one of my favorite training airports because it has lots of open ground and uh, hotel on the field, which is uh, very convenient and nice. And, uh, and so here we are on our long loft day, typically day three. On board 4341, contact India of the initial M600 program. It's important to note, too, that my program is structured and it's performance-based, so we leave no stone unturned. But if you're catching on or you already have that information, we move on. And so here we are. And uh, this is just a big picture of weather, rain, ceilings, etc., etc. That weather is moving to the southeast, the east-southeast. And, uh, and so we know that the hard part is going to be the takeoff. And the main threat here today is ice. And, uh, and so I wanna, what I want to show you is that we have a plan view of the ice at the same time, around 9.50 a.m. And this is what it looks like. My rule is never intentionally encounter anything more than light uh, ice, or certainly not moderate or, or worse. So uh, light to light to moderate in a turbine aircraft. We do have Fiki flight into known icing on the M600, so we have the whole package. And today, since we're still in IMC, we're using pitot heat, prop heat, stall heat. And because we have ice on the tail, we're calling it uh, Trace Rhyme, which we picked up in the climb, hasn't sublimated. We have the de-ice boots on as well. More about that in a minute. But what I want to show you is, is that we're getting exactly what was forecast on this uh, current icing potential forecast, icing potential, uh, otherwise known as the CIP, FIP. And this data is now laid in uh, forecast time over the map. Furthermore, it's available in a profile view, which is really how we do this. So there's the water, there's the ice. And we know in three dimensions what that looks like. All right, so now here we are, it's 11 o'clock in the morning, about an hour after uh, leaving the ground. And just in general, we have the same picture here. We also have cloud tops turned on just for uh, emphasis so we can see the shape of the system. And we're uh, tracking 243 degrees, estimated time and route, four uh, hours, 30 minutes, and uh, 817 miles to go with a fuel on board at destination hey, uh, good morning, of 510. Morning. Folks, do not try this in your average Meridian or M500. This is the meat and potatoes of the M600, and I'm pleased to demonstrate it for you here today. Thank you. We have tremendous range, even in the face of a fairly strong headwind, in this case nearly 80 knots. So we're very proud and pleased to be flying this airplane today. Meridian would not make this flight non-stop. And of course then we'd have to deal with the weather again. 
So I'm suggesting we're pretty much done with weather. But if we wanted to know more, we we could certainly do so. We could switch to Echo Tops, which is an infrared product, and today not quite as useful, perhaps. But it shows where the extra density. And here's the current icing potential, forecast icing potential, and you can see we've got uh, an area. Uh, we're not in icing conditions here. Uh, uh, we're ice free. We're on top of uh, some icing. But if we wanted to have a look, we could go to flight level 270, which is where we are, and see that there is no ice. That was the plan. And you saw earlier in this video how we uh, ascertained that with the CIP FIP in uh, in four flight it's also true that we have um, a vertical profile in four flight that's available to you prior to getting to the aircraft you could see we're <laughs> right on you see the uh, the green there in here in that area there that's turbulence and that's what we're feeling now as we pro progress that's only going to go on uh, another you know, 75 miles maybe and then we'll be free of that but we're above all of the ice and uh, that's borne out with the CIFIP in the aircraft let's look at 2100 you see it's pretty nasty there so the question is if we had to make an emergency descent would we make it straight ahead the answer is no and I would argue a right turn or a left turn either one would be the correct way to go one more feature in this very full feature panel in the M600 Echo tops, cloud tops, everything you need to know to fly safely. This is Dick Rochford. Fly safely. Train off.